Porfirio grabs hold of her inner thigh and moves his hand up her skirt. Stop it, not here. Vicky throws a heel at Porfirio as she straightens her clothes. Porfirio doesn't respond. Porfirio is a story, a Colombian story, about a man in a wheelchair who's waiting for his pension and he takes his son to the capital city after he's tired of waiting for his pension to speak to the president. And he hijacks a plane. Most of people in the outside world think they think a, a director is somebody who comes in, you know, and orders people around and everything. But most of the great directors I've worked with are people kind of a little bit wishy-washy or not sure of themselves and change their minds and all this. It's great to see people come in with a real idea of how they're going to make their movies. And then it's great to see them change their minds and, and come up with other ideas. I think I have a very clear idea of what I want. And now the trick is try not to be me or not to do what I want in the sense that I didn't come here to just execute something I thought about before. I have color palettes, I have storyboards, I have all these things kind of written out, but uh, I hope to be able to leave that aside and, and see what, what, what happens there. He's telling a story of this character who's in a wheelchair, and he's and this guy is bound in a way that a lot of us don't ever experience. So I think Alejandro is interesting in communicating the sense of containment. So he was talking about using a wide, low frame that didn't always include everything. It's something that's very bold. Those were just the subjective shots that I had of it. Mm -hmm. So you could just have her in the corner. Right. So from his from his point of view, we're we're seeing seeing his point of view. so we never actually see him. No, we don't. Isn't there a way to do these shots that we understand that that's his that's point subjective? Of view? I mean, you could do two versions, and that could go even from here. I'm trying to create this world. Visually framing and and setting up the shots exactly as as he would see the world, you know some of the advisors really thought that that was crazy and I shouldn't do that. I think probably most directors, our visual styles are are formed by filmmakers that we admire. So you've been influenced by images that speak to you. You know, Rene Magritte is my favorite painter, and so I tend to be drawn to images that are often very sort of formalized and yet have something off about them. But now I'll sometimes do things very conventionally at times, also intentionally as a way of offsetting the things that are less conventional. I think it's one of the things that I think, some, you know, like Alejandro has to keep an eye on, because I think if everything has the same oddness to it, it stops being odd. It starts just becoming repetitive. And then we jump the line to a shot of the back under these... Um, under these la la yeah, under those light sources, right, that we saw here, yeah. something of this sort. You seem to be defining your own visual style. It's not always about the shots, obviously. Mm -hmm. You've got these actors here. You get to work with them, try different things out. You know, you can you can try these scenes five or six different ways yeah. in a way that you can't always do on a movie set. Ready? Camera is set. Action. And I know that I thrive when I'm challenged, when I really think, how the hell am I going to do this? Then suddenly I make the best, the best work. Well, if it's, the canvas is open and I can do whatever I want, somehow it's not as good as when I'm really challenged to do something that's really difficult. If you have that balance with the director, that is, that is great. And we've since evolved it past the point of it being a literal POV. We're starting to understand that he can expand that and it can become more of a mind POV. I also realized that you want to see his world and not necessarily th see through his eyes. So some of the images I shot could be, for example, a little alienating because it could uh, take you away from the story. And I think that that was uh, something I got out of it and how sometimes your ideas or, or the way you set shots up can get in between the story. I mean, it was very, very exciting to see the images that have been in my head for so long and that I've been living with for the past year or so. I highly recommend the experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first feature that I've written and first feature that I'm directing.